Hi, Floss Tube. My name is Dottie Crisp, and this is Floss Tube number one from South Carolina. And I've been a stitcher for many years. And what better way to start out than to show you some of my former Halloween finishes? First of all, we have Lizzie Kate. I've done this on 28 count linen. I'm not sure of the color, but it's from Ghosties and Ghoulies and Things That Go Bump in the Night, Deliver Us. And this was a three part mystery series. And I've got it on a bell pull with three, a wooden bell pull with three jack o' lanterns. All right, next, we have a piece that I'm not really sure where this one came from, I want to say it's Waxing Moon, but I may be mistaken. But it's done on a, a band, about a uh, five and a half inch, four and a half inch band. And it's just got a wooden dowel and a pumpkin button at the end. And lots of little ghosty buttons and a moon button. Next, we have the proud member of the Black Hat Society done on a uh, 14 count purple Ada. Uh, flip framed with a mill heel frame, and it's by Sue Hillis. This was one of my first cross stitch pieces. It was done on 14 count Aida, and I remember that it was a trick or treat bag, and I framed it because I didn't let my children use it very much. I was afraid they'd get it dirty. This was a lot of work. I don't remember the design. It was, it's so old. It was in a booklet that had a bunch of patterns in it. Next, we have a shepherd's bush. It says, a, witch, a witch's moon shines clear and bright. Pumpkins flicker with ghostly sight. Bats and spiders give all a fright. Creepy, crawly Halloween night. This was also done on 28 count. That used to be one of my favorites and framed at the Stitch and Frame in Rock Hill. And I used uh, the Call for Flosses. Another Shepherd's Bush, um, this was one of their monthly musings pillows, Howling Happy Halloween, and this was Monster Mash. The fabric is Thimbleberries, and just tied it into a bow and hung it on my hall tree. And I had that one professionally finished because at the time I did not know what I was doing. And also we have Lizzie Kate Halloween Rules right beside it. Wear a costume, eat candy, visit a haunted house, scare a crow, carve a pumpkin, stay up late, mind your mummy, sit for a spell, brew some fun. Greet a ghost, howl at the moon, and be spectac spectacular. This was also done on 28 count, and I got the free uh, top of the pattern at, off her website. And I used the call for floss. I did a lot of pillows over the years, and uh, the one on the top right is if the broom fits, fly it. That's a Lizzie Kate pattern. I did it on Heather Field. Um, I think it was, oh, I'm not sure what count that was. And then the rest of the pillows are Pine Mountain pillows. Just different years. Sit a spell, spook. Um, we've got monthly pillows, trick or treat. Um, just all different kinds of pillows in October. Using the call for floss. And then here's a little arrangement I made at Hobby Lobby. By the prickling of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't know if you can see it, but this cloth, I don't know the name of it, but it has little sparklies in it. I'll try to move the camera so you can see. And when I was stitching this, I got carried away on the shoe and I stitched it all the way to the end of the fabric and had to rip it out. I didn't think I'd ever finish her shoe. It just went on and on. And I used all the call for flosses. And once again, I had it framed at Rock Hill, in Rock Hill, South Carolina, at Stitch and Frame. Now I'm just also gonna throw in a couple of little Halloween things. Um, 
This is a needlepoint that I did, 13 Days of Halloween. Then we have a retreat project at Panda's Cross Stitch and Beading in Malden, South Carolina. It was Monster Mash. And then I also have, oops, Sweetheart Tree, Trick or Treat. Bent Creek pattern. And I love my Scotties. And there's my little Scotty dog. Another needlepoint I've done from the 13 days of Halloween. Treat Time, also done on 28 Camp Cafe Mocha. It's a Lizzie Kate pattern, and I used all the Call 4 patterns with the little candy corn button. Another chair with lots, oops, lots of little uh, Pine Mountain pillows. And one pillow I had was a, um, oh, I forgot who this one was. I want to say Shepherd's Bush, but I don't think that was it. It's a boo pillow. B is for broomsticks, witches to fly, O is outrageous spooks that go by, O is for orange, pumpkins so bright. These are the signs of a Halloween night. And then my little department 56 village. And my baby grand piano with my spooky candelabra. This is also a uh, shepherd's bush. This is called Witch's Treat. And I used all the call for uh, flosses. And I know this is 28 count, but I do not know the fabric. I've had it for so long. And I got the pattern at Pandas Cross Stitch and Beading in Malden and had it framed by Stitch and Frame in Rock Hill. My next cross stitch from Shepherd's Bush again is Spooky Halloween. And I had the hardest time finding the Monster Mash uh, for the word Halloween for this one. And this one's done on 20 count, oh dear. It's on 20 count linen, but I'm just not sure what. And I used all the call for flosses because back then I was using everything the designer called for. It's a fun, fun stitch. My next one is a Mill Hill finish. And this was a calendar finish. So for this is for the month of October. And I used all the beads and the call for flosses on this. And this was on 14 count Aida that was supplied with the kit. Next, we have The Witch is In and my Wizard of Oz cuckoo clock. Um, this was a waxing moon design, if I'm not mistaken. And the frame came from Pandas Crossing and all the buttons and the chart in Malden, South Carolina. And it's on 28 count ivory linen. Next, we have my coffee Halloween wall. I have Halloween that came from Just Cross Stitch. And I used all the call for colors. And it's also on 28 count linen. I think it's like an off-white. Then we have Stony Creek Halloween Moon So Bright. This was maybe about three years ago one of the six in the series that they had. And this was a retreat project. The frame came from Panda's Crossing and the fabric was 32 count linen, but I'm not sure about the color. And I used DMC flosses and one specialty thread for the word Halloween, but I'm not sure what that was either. Then we have my Welcome My Pretty's Broom. That's going to be a finish for something one time. 
And we have Lizzie K. October. And a couple of things from Hobby Lobby. And then, of course, I love my Scotty dogs. We have Lizzie K. Halloween. And this was a flip it chart. Then we also have a freebie from Lizzie Kate. I think it's called Spooky Night and the little spider charm. And that's done on Ada. I think it's 14 count. And last we have Fall Row from Big Creek with the little crows. And this was stitched on 28 count linen with all the call four colors. And to finish up my Halloween tour, we have Val Stuff, Ding Dong, The Witch is Dead. We have Mill Hill, A Witch, and Her Pumpkin. I think she's Wendy Witch. And then we have Boris the, ba Boris the Bat. We have Count Dracula, Itty Bitty Boo by Val Stuff. We have, oh, Jack Pumpkinhead, maybe, from Satsuma Street. Not sure about the name of that pattern. And we also have Frankenstein from um, Mill Hill. So that finishes up my uh, floss, my first floss tube. I forgot a couple of my finishes. This is a Lizzie Kate. Uh, it was one of the monthly series charts she did, October. I also have Spell of the Moon, and it's by Blackbird Designs. This was done on 28 count linen with all the call for flosses. Next, we have Midnight Watch. As you can tell, I did this one in 2013, and I just, I'm not a big cat fan, but I just love, love, love this black cat on top of this beautiful house. That just enthralled me. So I guess that was probably the first big sampler I'd ever done. And I used all the call for flosses as usual. Next, we have a very scary, uh, it was a, a mystery sampler, three part from Lizzie Kate. I think this was pretty close to one of her last ones that she did but I really enjoyed this one. It's Witch and Ghost Make Merry on this last of Dear October's Days. And I also had forgotten this one. This one is a Kathy Barrick pow, uh, pattern and it's almost Halloween. Shadows of a thousand years rise again unseen. Voices whisper at, in the trees tonight is Halloween. And the ghosts look almost translucent on this fabric. But I just really enjoyed doing that. But the, the cemetery part just kept going on and on. But this one's done on 32 count linen. And I really enjoyed doing this one. Except for the tombstones. They took a long time. But now, um, I just want to thank everyone for watching. And uh, as you know, I really, really like Halloween. So hopefully we'll have some more patterns and projects next video. And uh, happy Halloween, everyone.